Now, from the makers of Coldwater Omo, Mrs. Peel had escaped from the deep freeze room at the cold cure clinic by removing the grating that led to the air shaft and crawling her way along the tunnel that led to the other rooms. Unfortunately, just above the shaft that led down to the matron's office, she was overcome with an irresistible desire to sneeze. She tried to prevent this by holding her nose, lost her grip on the metal support, and shot down the opening into the room beneath. Right. I've got her. Here's a special guinea pig we need. My deal. Take her to the allergy laboratory. The chief can deal with her immediately. The Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel... The Avengers. Episode 7 of this story, in which John Steed and Emma Peel solve their case and agree that despite the inconvenience, their partnership is not to be sneezed at. <laughs> Colonel Morris Timothy, retired, stood looking down at the breakfast tray, all set out for serving the following morning. On the tray, propped against a china milk jug, was an envelope. It was addressed to him. John Steed moved forward swiftly and picked it up. Now, do you believe me, Colonel? Uh, death through the mail. You mean that envelope contained... Oh, it's preposterous. You care to open it, Colonel? You you mean someone is trying to... I do. Fawcett of the Institute of Allergic Diseases has had a smear of the virus under a microscope. He swears it's lethal. I'd like to try it. I say, someone actually trying it out on me, what? Exactly, Colonel. <clears throat> What do we do, Steve? We have to find that someone very quickly. And where do you suggest we look? Right here, or rather in the extension of your house. What? You mean in, in my cold cure clinic? Right. But, uh, well, that, that, that means I've been nurturing a viper in my bosom. I'm afraid so. One whose sting is still very deadly. Gracious, I, I hardly know what to say, Steve. It's... 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 Oh. Exactly. Uh, Going to open up for me, Colonel. I'll do better than that. I'll come along with you. Nothing like the call to arms to bring the color to the cheeks. Uh, what's the plan of campaign? Frontal assault. Yes. Straight down the corridor. Now, where's my umbrella? Bola. That's it. Shoulder arms. Yes, I have a tin helmet somewhere. Shotgun. Steady the butts. By the left steed. March. Uh, Hey, the, hey, what are we looking for, by the way? A tall, attractive brunette. <laughs> Who isn't? Now, this one's married. Hey, oh. Name of Mrs. Emma Peel. That is, if we're not too late. Mrs. Peel was in the allergy room and rather in need of help. She was suspended by one hand from a beam, her feet barely touching the floor. The rope around her wrist was so tight that she was forced to use her hand to clutch the beam. Her other arm, which was bare, was tied to her side. Mrs. Peel wasn't very happy with the arrangement. Won't be long now, Mrs. No, it's a shame to keep her waiting now she's ready. Yes. Ah, Chief, everything prepared. Oh, splendid. We'll start with the usual standard tests, find out her resistance. Uh, Priest, check with Dexter and see we're not disturbed. Very well, Dr. Glover. You wish me to repair the objection, Chief? Uh, you wouldn't be allergic to caviar and champagne, Mrs. Peel. Try me. Oysters? Love them. A quail? Any form of poultry or seafood? No. Are you allergic to anything at all, Mrs. Peel? Oh, yes. Oh, what fat matrons. Let me prepare just a small injection, Chief. Very well, matron. Go ahead. John 
Steed and the Colonel had broken formation when they entered the main body of the cold cure clinic. In fact, in the darkness of the corridors, they adopted trench warfare and moved forward in a crouched position. The Colonel had the shotgun at the ready. Steed held his umbrella like a medieval lance. No one in sight. Combined operation elsewhere. Indubitably. But where? Shh. Halt. Halt. There. By the door. Sentry door. What? I have a plan. I shall... I shall... I shall... Whatever the colonel's plan was, it was lost in the confusion of his sneeze. The man at the door, Dexter, sprang to his feet and whirled towards them. The colonel caught him on the face with his tin helmet. Steed administered the coup de grace with a bop of his bowler. I tell Alamine all over again. Surprise attack. It's a movement. The fluidity of approach. And your hands above your head. Hands above... High above your head. Thank you. Shotgun down, Colonel. Prisoners of war, it seems. Sorry, we don't take prisoners. Uh, remember the Battle of Vimy, Colonel? Nice strategy, eh? Copy book. Uh, remember how it all began, a diversionary attack? One to the left and one to the right. Right! Army issue. And demob with... Steed and the colonel had again used the tin helmet bowler technique to advantage. Priest was out for the count. Yes. Out cold. This way. Allergic to ragweed, Dr. Mother. Oh, perfect. Ooh. I'd rather to be an allergy, Mrs. Peel, but perfect for our purpose. <laughs> Which is? The test of my serum. A test to destruction. But if I'm to be destroyed, you may as well tell me why. Why are you killing off all those men? The oldest motif, the oldest cliché, they knew too much. I've discovered an allergy to which no one is resistant yet. Swab the arm, ready for injection, Matron. Oh, very good, Doctor. But soon one of your colleagues might have discovered an antidote. Precisely. Now a little whiff of my dust can destroy an entire population. A whole country. And there'll be no defense against it. Weapons sold to the highest bidder. Is that it? A few grains of my powder will make me rich, Mrs. Uh, Peel. A few grains of powder or a few milligrams of my liquid. Hold her steady, Matron. <laughs> Kick out, Mrs. Peel, and look out for girls. Stay where you are. All of you. Take two. You see this file? There's enough liquid in here to kill the whole clinic. Still. That's better. Now I'm leaving you. Bye. I'm glad to see you haven't lost your grip, Mrs. Peel. Help her down, Colonel. I hate to see a woman hanging around in the... Oh, Colonel, Colonel, Timothy. Hattrick, Steve. All yours, Colonel. Ah. Oh, very ungraceful. I'm going after Glover. Glover had taken the back way out, and that meant using the iron fire escape. Steed anticipated this and hurried to the floor above. As Glover began the descent, Steed called to him. Glover, up here. I warned you, Steed. I know, but I've never been able to follow doctor's orders. Besides, you've forgotten something. Steed reached into his pocket and withdrew the envelope addressed to the colonel. You forgot your mail. Steed slipped the envelope quickly and held it upside down and let it float down upon Glover. The effect was instantaneous, but hardly surprising.
answer in this football for me, Steve? I'll do better than that. Here. Andre Ehrman proves patent cold cure. Oh. We'll have you up and about in no time. Drink it up. You're not joining me? Well, it's, it's a bit top heady for the time of day. Go ahead. It clears all the sinuses. Hmm. Not bad. Very kind of your aunt. I should write and thank her. I, uh... <laughs> yes, well, I, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Oh? Poor Auntie Ermintrude died at an early age. Oh, dear. What did she die of? She caught cold, oh. actually. Well, anyway, one good thing about this, uh, I didn't catch cold. <laughs> bad for the image. I mean, you know, you and I both with colds uh, at the same time. Uh, you see what I mean? Mm, people might talk. Yes, I saw the wrong conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you'd better face it. You're hopelessly compromised. This footpath is big enough for four feet, Steve. Move over, Mrs. Peel. Friday to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers, brought to you by the makers of Coldwater Omen.